My name is Al Mushabi. I am the founder and creator of Lightbulb and Lightbulb Education. We're an edtech startup and we're based out of South Africa. Our organization provides learning management systems. We've built a edtech solution whereby educators, schools and institutions can use an online platform in order to engage with students to provide them access to content that they create, but also to provide them the ability to interact on an online framework through either mobile devices, laptops, tablets, anything that's connecting to the internet. We looked at a whole range of service providers and we found that AWS to be the best. Our entire system works on an exponential component, so the ability to have an elastic expansion of services was one of the key components about why we chose AWS. We have a lot of scripts that we run on our system. Every single time like users engage on the platform, they're constantly like pushing the CPU rates, um, require lots of RAM and huge amounts of storage. Um, everything is exponential. Every single time somebody engages on the platform, they add more data, they create more data. So therefore, we always need to be expanding with regards to like the services that we're running on the platform itself. By using AWS, we've managed to save a lot in terms of like our infrastructure um, requirements and therefore we're able to now expand our services in other areas of our operation, operating business essentially. The main benefit has essentially been on like the hosting services, the ability for us to actually like um, scale up our service. So we are really grateful for that because now, I mean, goodness me, the speeds that we can get right now, the latency has dropped drastically. Um, the ability for guys to deploy um, more storage and put more information onto the system, we've just kept it like essentially as much as you can and have not put any restrictions on the end users in terms of what they can do on the system. We saw AWS as a key like partner in terms of what we do. Um, they've been helping us, they've been like essentially they saved us when we were running trials and so we thought it would be a good idea to tell them look you know we are, we're actually running on your services is there any any ways that we can actually collaborate with AWS and uh, demonstrate like how we can expand services on their network and infrastructure. Being part of the Ingenie program and the, the entire event as a whole has been really beneficial to us. We've gained a lot of partners with regards to like our engagement with them and that's actually one of the key components with regards to like what we were trying to achieve at the end of the day. Um, being startup businesses within the South African context, it's very difficult for you to gain traction in the market and you have to get into some of these programs in order to get exposure so that people can actually see the type of stuff that you're creating and building and actually look and say, hey, you know what, let's actually give these startups an opportunity to try and demonstrate their solutions into the market and sort of bring them out into the world essentially. So. From my perspective, I, I, I cannot like, emphasize enough on how much and how important these type of events are. How AWS Ed Start is impacting the education industry, I would say they're providing huge benefits to startups because creating infrastructure and building your own infrastructure or even buying extra services puts a hindrance on like, how you can actually spend your, the, the capital that you have. And so by alleviating this critical component for all operational services makes a massive difference on your basic overheads that you're running and your operating expenses. I think the most exciting thing is being able to try and resolve a solution that's been plaguing the country and the continent for a long, long time. And we believe that this is the next step in terms of trying to alleviate a lot of the problems that we in South Africa have and the rest of the continent essentially.